I like this choice, though, but if he was to go for the ambitious jump to check it, he can jump on those boxes, but instead he's going to call the first. Gets the frag, but this is so nice from Liquid. He's holding it, and all Naf has to do is check it. Oh, 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 oh. Not again, Simple. That's simply not allowed. Oh, I don't believe it. He's done it again. Oh, this is just unreal. Simple is in the zone right now. Lusha has the AWP, and he'd have to overextend and overcommit. His only option is JKS if he wants to turn this into a fake, and I can't believe this might just work. It's actually the B players who are going to be the big crims is Dink, but Liaz still not able to find that kill. He's not going to get it still. Golden's found one. What a transfer. Liaz has done just as much as he possibly could. I have no idea how Flusher didn't get that kill. Crims, he's on the site, and he's going to go try and go for the bomb plant here, but they do have a Molotov, and with the Krieg out, they sneak through. The uh, Molotov actually doesn't do anything. 28 seconds, and this should not be a winnable round for him. He's so low already. JKS on the other side. One bullet will do. Oh, no way! I see the 16 Crims! A god like clutch! This is the weapon that has changed the tide of new T side, but Flamey, ridiculous! Oh, yes. Ace, five kills, five seconds! Carrigan trying for the flick there. Oh! Out of this world! That is absolutely impossible. At least can see them hopping up and down. Time is dwindling away. They need to start getting some kills. It's a leash. He's at the backside of Catwalk. He can see players pushing him. He's very back and forth. A leash electric hold. Liquid have a fifth round. All thanks to him. I don't think they can do it. Especially Woxic trying to take one arm of this bomb side alone with the orb. They're getting the kills. Oh. And Woxic actually lands that one. Now Nexa. Uh, in the bomb site, smoke goes up for the door. Actually, Nexa might enjoy that for a minute. He has a smoke of his own. I don't think he could really throw it easily. They come through, and Nexa will find a way to shut them down. This should be the round where they just put an end to it, where G2 don't even have a say in it. Oh, down the middle! A third kill on JW. Can he get more? He doesn't have any more in him. Surely not. He's already done almost everything they need. Amanek with the UMP, and now Brolin in a one versus three. And there's no point in running, there's only 30 seconds. Might as well just go for the straight up fight and hope that you could do it. He takes out Jax, and now could he get the bomb plant? Kenny's on the one side there. I don't think he's even got much time here. Faking it will just buy more time. Yeah, he goes straight for it, and a little bit of a pre fire there from Kenny. That Krieg, I don't know if it's enough to buy them this round. He's so low on health as well. And now Nexus is going to be showing up with that AK-47. If they knew how low he was, they'd just be using the pistols. They both come through. Oh, he does get it. No help, but the accuracy. Trying to catch one, and he does. Flamey's gone down, and now just perfecto and simple. He needs a multi-kill. First found. Twist aggressing. They have to double peek. He's getting his shot. He's hitting another one. Simple. No, simple. That's unbelievable. What in his name? Number one in the game. He's done it again. Veterans with... Three Intel Extreme Masters Katowice trophies under your belt. You're officially through to the Spodek Arena. How much would it mean to get that trophy for a fourth time? Uh, everything. We missed Spodek last two years. Uh, obviously, rough years. So, can't wait to come back there. You won in 2018. Soul crushing if they were able to win this clutch right here. Stan jumping down, dropping Hunden immediately, and now he's on the low ground. He gets killed by Bubsky instead, and it's all on Sir. Can he do it with the Krieg? He knows that someone's up there, and I'm sure he knows it's the AWP. That's oh my God. one hell of a flashbang. He has to fall away. He's got one of his own, though, and he's going to try and see if he can pop it out. He gets a headshot, now runs for it, and he's going to win it again. Flash goes over, so he needs to hit some shots now. First one connects. He, they know where he is, though. He gets the second, and Elise chimes in as well. Stewie, 2K, looking for the third, it's simple, and it's way too difficult to find. Now Bomb can go in, 2v2, we do see Nitro, he's way behind, but he's on his way. My electronic, it's just about time, and he looks away, punished first, now all on to simple. He has the cross for Nitro, he has the kit, so does Naf though, and from CT he arrives, fresh mag for simple, he needs to find just one more, it's easy peasy, quad kill for simple. He's done it once again, four kills in the bag. Money broken for Team Liquid, and we go 11 to 8. What He wants that victory. Yeah, he, he said it on the stage.
it is Woxic and it is frozen up on top of the graveyard looking for the shot but Summer rips his head clean off and Woxic on the Deagle needing a 1v3 finds the first knows Freeman's position but there's still the unknown factor Zeta looking to make the rotation Woxic onto the UMP gets the second and Zeta in the 1v1 Woxic needs the headshot and he'll get it as well Woxic with the 1v3 he loves this fight right now can just buy time for the team to get here or set up for more execution oh, that's actually looked like they were both flashed they still win the fight and it's a three on three boomage pretty quick up catwalk that spray as he's falling back still dinks amanek and next are in a one versus three Navi are such a good CT-sided team on this map, and it's showing right now. Next are turning. He needs two more headshots. There's the one. The follow-up, and he gets it. A great triple here for the captain of G2. He is quick on the flank. I don't know if Sonny's going to be able to do anything here, but here's the peek from Floppy. Sprays down two, gets into that 1v2 situation. He's got to be careful. There's a man behind, but he finds that kill as well. Leaves Zipix all on his own. Clutch master to finish it off and may actually just go for the defusal. He spots him a little bit further away, just trying to bait him in, doesn't have a kill, and he finds a kill as well. What a sick play coming out from Floppy. A one versus four. Brand is faction this round, it starts to head towards A. He'll be boosted towards short, but is alone. Nestle is the one who's boosting. First shot for Voxic, absolutely nails it. Unreal. Zipex working his way through with Mages there. Will they go for the boost? Well, got a dink in at least, but here we go, a chance. Ooh. That's actually got the lead here, but it's simple. One versus one now, Dupree. He'll make his way towards the bomb site. 90% clutch rate on this map. We saw him win one against Liquid versus four. He's only gonna find one and he's done it again. The percentage goes up again, Henry. 12-1 for Na'Vi, and Simple just can't lose clutches. But is it a bit of a ruse? I get to fall back and actually go towards middle, and it might be the correct call. We'll see the Desert Eagle ready and waiting. It's a lead with two. He's got a Krieg as well, Henry. That could be problematic. And Simple did get oh. sprayed down a liege. Deeg do through the door. And it finds his third. It's all been a liege in this one. And this force bite from Liquid, it looked like it was gonna fall flat, but Elise has got other plans. Looks for the quad. Finished by twists. They really want this weapon. Oh, Ooh, nice work from Shush. He needs to get rid of Chris J, and he's being given opportunities to do it as well. Three kills off the back of the scout. There are just big plays round after round at the moment. And he just, this is ridiculous. He's going for the ace at the moment. Just one more needs to be connected. And Frozen just peeking back. Surely this is going to be it for Shush. A ridiculous round off the back of the scout. Go down. I, I can't really see a way the device wins this. Yeah. Maybe he can push through. Maybe kill the diffuser. at Martin's going to be sticking it. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> what? <laughs> about this. G2 can make this work, but oh. maybe not so much. The kills through the smokes are a little bit too much to handle. No. Simple, no! They've had enough. They're already dead at this point. No! Simple, no with the knife! Please! No! That's not okay! <laughs> not two of them. Just a single bullet connecting and nothing converted into the frag. They're tucked in on the corner. They're just traveling as a death ball. You really shouldn't oh. have a chance! Oh my God! Oh. I said I wouldn't squeal! <laughs> Oh dear, that's him dead. He tries to throw out a nade just to do something before he falls. A one by one, they get executed. Some of them, that's two and a third. How does he clean that one up? A ridiculous play coming out from Summer. He doesn't even have to peek. He just has to stay in position. As long as they have side covered, they can funnel the rest of their efforts on the A side, peering down ramp, and it's gonna be three kills to his name. It's a half by. Can't get too carried away, but maybe Stewie can put this back in the realms. A possibility with a leech who comes out with two. Can they hold on? 30 seconds left. A leech looking to clear all the angles. He'll find the headshot as well. Nexa goes down, and it's the stars of the show. Kenny trying to rotate in. He knows this round is crucial. They cannot be losing to these half buys, but he misses the shot and Elige, the one-man army. Has to be careful here. That bomb plant position is going to be completely open. It's more down to his teammate to actually try and cover him off, and that's not going to be the case. This will be a very easy kill for Perfecto. The only issue is he has absolutely no idea where Lecro is going to be. It could be anywhere on the map, likely to be towards Pop, just because of the bomb plant. But the face comes out, he snaps over and he gets it as well. It's not clean, it's not pretty, but it's enough for Perfecto. From Na'Vi is spot on. They know exactly where this is going to be coming. I don't know how there wasn't somebody getting hit by that AWP, but even still, eventually it will happen. Unfortunately, Perfecto is the one to fall, so still not going to be padding those stats. But simple, he will oblige. Take oh. them away. <laughs> That was so clean. Waiting one up and that one creep. They do almost line up and oh, two for one for Acor. Taking down Circa and he's back for more. He wins the round. Because of a poor performance, 
This will be one hell of a way to step up. He's been spotted, though. They know exactly where he's coming from. Rez just going to try and play a more passive position. Plopsky even falling back into the connector to force a headshot angle and even going to be holding the cross, you'd think. But he'll actually get in onto Rez. Even still, though, he's taken a hell of a lot of damage. Smoke going to be going down around the bomb. The question is, can he actually get this defusal off? He's going to try and tap it. Bait it. Plopsky goes for the peak and finds it as well. The next is so the flashbang. He needs at least two kills out of a chance in the round. There's the first. Not bad. At all. Oh, There's a second, it's working oh, out! Oh, right. oh, Let's go, Nexa! Jesus My Christ. goodness gracious me, he's pulled it off. We said he needs two, he somehow gets four. I just squealed like a pig. <laughs> Satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna have a go, and he still has a real shot at this one. That's his second of the round, he has to get another two. And on the cross, he has to be precise, and Nexa, not only is it in-game. For many years, I've seen Boomich and his fledgling years at the Katowice has gone. The qualifiers for Katowice, no less, and now he's in the finals! And Boomich doing it again, this time versus the full buy! A taste of the flamey treatment from yesterday, a triple kill bomb in his grasp! While well, blind, Kenny came through the Molotov. That is a nice pick, that's one of the ops down. They can't recover it, it's deep into CT spawn. But this opens things up. And remember, Golden isn't playing this B-bomb site. They might have thought that there'd be only one player here, and that's just not the case. JW, blind, <laughs> and it doesn't matter! No scope so fast! That's unbelievable, <laughs> and it just continues coming oh. out of smoke. Oh no! How many does he have him in him in a round? He does at least manage to pick off one. Oh no, that looked like another scroll wheel issue. Azza has found another in the meantime, and Summer, he has to clutch it out once again, but he's already got himself two. It's only left onto Liaz. He's guessed it perfectly, and back to back, 1v3s out from Summer. He was fully flashed and couldn't help his teammate out. Olaf now watching the back, anticipating the flank. Dexter is waiting for his two teammates to start to move in. He's heard the footsteps and he is gonna pounce. And that's gonna open up an extra avenue of re-ingression from Renegades. This puts Cold Zero in a really rough position, especially considering a 16 HP, but he's gonna spin around on a penny and just instantly drop Dexter. It's a one-on-one -on -one and Cold Zero again comes out clutch. He's close range with the AWP, so missing a, sh a shot right here could actually cost him the round. Olaf Meister's in position for it, but simple, still making it work. And Cold Sierra, yeah, he's trapped in here. He knows it. He goes oh! down. Oh, a wall bank shot right through. That's a disgusting way to win a round. CT spawn, no one's covering Banana. That's a must win fight. And Nexa has it. Golden finding Kenny S, yes, but now it's on. Three players coming up, Banana. Yeah, and they have one flashbang there on Nexa and a diffuse kit. Can they set it up nicely? Then that might be all they need. Oh. Running a shot from Jax Crims, a bit out in the open, a bit of an off angle, and Jax will continue taking down Crims as well, leaving Golden in a one versus four. He's already got the one kill, but he's gonna have to try and ace them while stopping the defuse that's already coming through. Golden, and he's not gonna be quick enough here, I think. That defuse is a second away, and Golden, he gets one more shot, but that was too much to handle. He'll try and see, he'll get the ace at the end, but it is not enough to save them and G2 will win the round. He knew he had the perfect position, enough health to make it work as well. He opened up the round with this great shot, flashed of course, takes Golden down, and then this is the perfect play. It's spacing a little bit off of Fnatic, I suppose, but generally speaking, it was a very chaotic situation and uh, simple. He didn't make a single mistake there. Brilliant. He's even done damage to Dupree. He's done enough. Apex, we talked about him, we highlighted him, and he's coming to this pistol, frothing at the mouth. Three down. And round yet to be confirmed, despite his best efforts. Dupree, though, with eight HP, two kills, two scalps affixed to his belt loops, but one more he needs and he gets! Two players ready and waiting, Brokey and Nico. This time both with rifles. Nico, he's full flash, he stands up at the bottom. The molly, it's on top of him! Perfect molly from Electronic! Brokey and Nico did well to get the necessary frags, they've made it level. But this is an afterplan that favors Na'Vi. Olof, Orp, does have a smoke and a flash, in fact, plenty of utility. Simple to defend B. You know he's gonna have a couple of kills if the flashbang's decent. Rain now, knows he's there, but Simple jumps oh. up. Oh, he's bringing it back, oh. Electronic and Simple! They managed to save it. It's a three versus one, the AWP on the retake. I don't think he has what it takes. Na'Vi eliminate phase from the tournament, and they're going to the Spodek. And they're still getting caught. Hunden goes down, and now this round is falling apart for Mad Lions. Roy getting a kill and trying to transfer it. He's gonna have to do so much work here. Aqua with the AWP is now gonna be alone and trapped in that corner yet again. 30 seconds as he walks onto the bomb site. one versus two. 
He needs to be a hero for his team right now. The flashbang taking all his attention away, and he knows someone's there. He gets the kill on Sirk and actually falls into the bomb site. There might be a shot at this peaking. Oh, Tarek, that's dangerous. Ten seconds left now, and Acor already with a double swinging wide. One chance, not getting it. A second one, and taking down Tarek. A ridiculous clutch from Acor. Ready to say Bombsite could be compromised a lot. Kill on Lecro, but the return is there for Rez, and he's now down on the hot with the Famas and Twist helping out. And this defense is looking pretty good all of a sudden. Saibu, the last one left, and he's going to take a dive into the vent with the bomb and a smoke. And Smoke does nothing up there at all. He goes for the fight, and Nock will go down now. Twist coming in from the same angle, and Saibu will win it a quad kill. He handles it well. Doesn't make any sound cues here, and simple oh. on the other side of the smoke. They're going to try and split towards B. One shot connecting. No! Oh! You can't do that! Ridiculous! As we move into the next round, big spray down, a triple kill. It's the quad, and flavey has got another race. He keeps racking them up. You can't slow this man down. They've just stabbed each other and spawned oh, as well. So Nexus no. just got stabbed and spawned by a teammate. You really don't like to see it. Ramp rush. And here. the lands. Let's go, boys. Let's get another race for Flamey. Oh, He's doing it all over again. Can he close things out in style? What a half this has been so far. Amanek is trying to deny it, but Flamey wants blood. Amanek, 1v5, he's gone as well, of course it's Boomich. Lost for words. Flabbergasted. Flabbergasted, truly. And look at Electronic, he's just exuding confidence. He hasn't let go of W and he's punished for it. Nexa now has a Krieg to fight this one off. And Kenny, he's not going down without a fight. Interesting maneuver. A championship point, I have to say, but still they're making it work. <laughs> two versus two, and it's going to be Simple and Flamey, <gasps> who just seem to be taking matters into their own hands. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. there it is. Your champions are going to be Na'Vi. It's a 3-0 clean sweep here in the grand final. This is a legit team. And I mean, the Na'Vi squad putting Perfecto in that seat. He trials as a, as a, a budding recruit from Simon Gaming, and he gels. They give him the chance. You know, it's similar to that of so many names in 2020, but they've done it. Victory, unlike anything the Spodek has seen before. Nobody could touch them. They did it in the semi-finals, and they did it again in the grand finals. Your IEM, Canavisa 2020 champions, it's Norby!